Chet Holmgren was the star to follow in his high school and college days, where he showed more than enough to prove he's an NBA material kind of player. To nobody's surprise, Chet was selected with the number two pick in the 2022 NBA Draft by the Oklahoma City Thunder, after an amazing season as a freshman in Gonzaga. Unfortunately for Holmgren, as well as all NBA fans, he didn't play in his rookie season due to a foot injury. However, a year later, he's shaking off the rust in the 2023 Summer League, where he's playing like he never left. Let's see what some people from the NBA world have said about Chet Holmgren. Prior to the 2022 draft night, it was a race between Paolo Banchero, Jabari Smith, and Chet Holmgren for who was going to end up as the top pick in the draft. The three of them had an amazing college season, but the jump from college to the pros is big and a challenge that most players struggle to take on in their first seasons. San Antonio Spurs legend and 1995 NBA Most Valuable Player David Robinson, the Admiral, had some words of advice for the young up-and-coming NBA stars. I always tell people, going from high school to college is a big challenge, but going from college to the pros is an even bigger one. So just prepare to learn and have that Steve Kerr approach, because everybody is just as big and fast as you now so you just gotta be smart and work on getting better every year. Strong words from one of the all-time greats. After the OKC Thunder announced that Holmgren was going to miss the entire 2022-23 season due to a foot injury, the NBA world was devastated. The injury took place in a pro-am game where Chet tried to stop a LeBron James-led transition play. This was a freak incident, and NBA analyst Stephen A. Smith, who's a big-time Chet Holmgren fan, was one of the first to speak out on it. First of all, my heart goes out to the kid. The kid is a tremendous young talent with a lot of promise, and I thought when I watched him during Summer League that he was going to do amazing things, and this is just a devastating blow. I'm really sad for him. But I will say this, because it's one of the concerns we had. When you look at Chet Holmgren at college, nobody questioned his game at all. Nobody questioned whether or not he was worth taking at the number two overall pick. The question about him was whether or not he could stay healthy, how frail he would be, because he was too skinny. It's just a damn shame. I'm so sad for him. The kid has got a tremendous future. He can really play. I like him a lot, and I wish him a speedy recovery. Stephen A's approach is one way to look at Chet's injury, but 10-year NBA veteran Evan Turner thinks that the injury may be a blessing in disguise for Holmgren and the Thunder. I think it's a big difference because he's only 20, and like we said earlier, his body is still developing. Think about how much of an advantage is going to get like having NBA training, having, you know, NBA workouts, you know, getting his body back healthy and coming back hopefully next year maybe 20 or 25 pounds heavier and fully ready for the NBA. Go through a red shirt year in the league where you have no problem and you just keep working out and they're prepping for you. Man, he's in a great situation because they're building a future based on him. Prior to the 2022 NBA draft, Holmgren was asked who he thought was the best player in the class, to which he answered that he thinks it's himself. Pacers legend Reggie Miller, who was quite a self-confident guy back in his day, really liked Chet's response. Miller approved of Chet's answer saying, I actually like this response, because now it puts an even bigger target on him. But give me dudes who take steps forward and aren't as scared as opposed to players moonwalking. Reggie Miller was a killer back in his day, so words of approval from such a guy mean a lot if you're a young and up-and-coming player. Holmgren has the length, ball handling skills, and ability to move the basketball at an extremely high level already. According to two-time NBA champion and inside the NBA analyst Kenny Smith, those skill sets will far outweigh his skinny frame at the highest level in the NBA. He's been thin his whole life and he's still been dominant. He's going to add strength even if he doesn't put on weight. Holmgren's skill set is so unique, being able to handle the ball with that fluidity translates into a more open floor than college, which zones you up more. You don't have multiple guys who can really score. You don't have guys who can come off the bench and create double teams. He's going to play with a whole unique set of guys, and his length allows him to be such a great shot blocker. JJ Redick believes Chet Holmgren can win Rookie of the Year over Victor Wembanyama this upcoming season. The sharpshooter turned analyst recently discussed how Holmgren could make his case and that he may be more ready than Wemby and others to produce at the NBA level in the coming months. The Chet Holmgren thing is interesting because I think there's an expectation here that the Oklahoma City Thunder are at least in the play-in and probably have a winning record next season. But if Chet checks out in some of these advanced analytics things and all of a sudden the Thunder are 46 and 36, he's going to have a real opportunity barring just a 20, 10, and 4 from Wembonyama or an 18, 9, and 5 from Scoot Henderson. He's gonna have an opportunity. He'll be in the thick of things, I think, for Rookie of the Year. 
Next season is going to be a crazy season with many young players coming into the league, like J.J. Redick, former OKC center and NBA champion with the Boston Celtics, Kendrick Perkins, thinks that Chet Holmgren could be the one to run away with the 2024 Rookie of the Year award. At number one, Chet Holmgren. That's who is my Rookie of the Year this year, Perkins said. Did you see him in Summer League? Did you see what he's capable of doing? You want to put him at the five position? He could pick and roll. He can pick and pop. He could take you off the dribble. He could finish around the basket. He has elite handles. Look at that slippery eel. And let's not forget what he brings to the defensive end. Willing to leave it all on that end and defend the basket. This is my big man. A big man who I picked to be the 2024 Rookie of the Year. Perk is known for wild takes, but he may end up being right on this one. Chet is actually that good of a player. However, we're not going to leave Kendrick Perkins without mentioning some of his more, as you'd say, authentic quotes. If Giannis Antetokounmpo and Kristaps Porzingis had a baby, it would be the 2022 second overall pick, Chet Holmgren. What a Kendrick Perkins thing to say. Charles Barkley is the type of guy who, even though he believes in certain players' talents, he doesn't jump to the hype train as quick as others may. Before the start of the 2022 NBA draft, Chuck talked about who he thought were the top picks in the draft. I think Paolo Banchero and Jabari are going to be able to play right away because of their body type, Barkley said. That kid Chet Holmgren is a terrific player, but he's probably 30 to 40 pounds from making a difference in the NBA. All three are worthy of the number one pick, but I think it depends on what situation you're in when the lottery plays out. As you can see, Chuck does think high of Chet, but has some concerns about him as well. Contrary to what he does with other players like LeBron James, Stephen Curry, or Luka Doncic, sports analyst Skip Bayless is very fond of Chet Holmgren, having many expectations for the 21-year-old. This will be the best white American player since Larry Bird. Seven foot one, moves like a guard, jumps out of the gym, can shoot pull-up threes, but also dominates the paint blocking shots, Bayless said. This is not the first time that Skip praised a young Holmgren. After Chet committed to play for the Gonzaga Bulldogs, Bayless could not hide his excitement about the signing, even claiming that Chet Holmgren would take the team to their first ever national college basketball championship. Gonzaga finally won its first national championship with this recruiting class led by Chet Holmgren. Never seen anything quite like him. A long 7-1 guard with guard range, handle, who plays with the edge of a former teammate Jalen Suggs. Probable number one overall in 22. Congrats, Zags, tweeted Skip on his account. We don't know his ceiling, but Holmgren has already shown interesting things to believe he can have a good NBA career. Of course, he has things to work on, especially his body, but this man can be a threat in the NBA if he can achieve that. Keep an eye on this guy, as he's shown in the few games we've watched him that he's capable of causing a lot of damage on the court. The good thing about his foot injury is that, despite how long it takes to get through recoveries, once you recover, you're good to go and can play like nothing ever went wrong. Let's hope that that's how things will turn out for Chet Holmgren, who dominated the game before his injury. With the OKC Thunder having a real shot to make the play-in tournament or even the playoffs, Chet is going to get a lot of competitive minutes on the court, which are going to be of huge experience for him further down the line. Let's hope he comes back even better than what he was before his injury and gives us one of the greatest basketball careers of all time. Good luck to Chet Holmgren and the Oklahoma City Thunder.